everybody out there. Well, hello, all my YouTube brothers and sisters. New subscribers, I'd particularly like to say a special welcome and hello to. It's hard to keep one's emotions on an even keel in the world that we're all facing now. In a world where the institutions have all broken down. The things that we were brought up to believe in, things like democracy and the rule of law, no longer apply. I've particularly been noticing some egregious things happening and it's become obvious that a coup has been staged in America. Hillary Clinton is the figurehead of this coup. Uh, Donald Trump is part of the whole criminal cabal. And my apologies uh, for that intro if it bothered anybody. It was not to disrespect the American flag but to show that the American flag has been literally shit on by these two candidates. For anybody who thinks that my words might be alarmist and not realistic, I would point you to uh, Bushwhacker Bill and his shakedown of Loretta Lynch on her airplane. The miles and pages and pages of leaks and, and what does it take? What does it take before people say, no, this is not going to work. We cannot allow this to happen. They don't seem to even care anymore, particularly if their corruption is exposed. They have become so confident in their corruption and in their control of everything that the rule of law does not frighten them at all. And why should it? With the FBI completely corrupted under the Clinton machine, with Donald Trump, a corrupt real estate developer and casino, a <laughs> failed casino owner. <laughs> it's a disaster waiting to happen. Hillary will be installed. They have decided a long time ago that Hillary will be installed as the figurehead, supposed president, and uh, there is nothing you can do to change it. You can vote, but you might as well just toss them in the garbage can because your vote counts for nothing. And anybody that has studied what went on during the Democratic primaries would have a hard time arguing with that. The corruption is not just on a national level in America. It's a complete uh, globalization of uh, mafia. They don't call it mafia, they call it government. They don't care about nation states. They don't believe in nation states. They want everything under corporate control, under military dominance. And they know that the climate is a disaster. Even my cat agrees. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey Gandhi, I'm on YouTube. Don't knock my camera over. He's uh, <laughs> you can probably make up a tail going by there. He's the hairiest cat in the world. And the worst thing is he insists on sleeping with me and I'm allergic to him. But I love him so much that, <laughs> yeah, let's see. I digress. I need to close the camera off because he's, uh, <laughs> he's going to knock the tripod over. I'll be back in a second. Now, regard with regards to my YouTube channel, I think I've specified, and for those that you don't that don't know, this is a totally non-monetized channel and non-copyright. I'd like to call it the Grateful Dead of YouTube channels. And I would encourage anybody watching this to 
put it up on your channel and make money off it if you want. I don't care. I'm not doing it for money. And I had some, some very dear people saying, how can we support you? Why don't you set up a Patreon account? I don't wish to do that because I am doing this not motivated by money, but motivated by things that I believe in. And things that I believe in are humanity fighting back against the forces that seek to enslave them and finish off the ecology of the world. What they haven't accomplished already, they wish to accomplish within the next few years. The Pacific Ocean is dead. Radiation from Fukushima has spread around the world. So many things, climate change. Look at the hurricane going to hit Florida. And this isn't theoretical anymore. I live in Canada, it's October. I have never in all my years seen an October where the leaves aren't changing colors. It's been so warm here that it's still summertime in October. And we're not supposed to notice this. <laughs> Every year, every year gets hotter and hotter, and yet governments don't know what to do about it. Organizations have become corrupted. There's very few things that can be believed in anymore. And part of the reason that I do not monetize this channel, and that I do not seek uh, money for doing it in any way, is because I believe that would compromise my message and force me to be more concerned about how many people are watching, whether I should run ads for huge corporations, etc., etc. So I'm quite happy to keep this as a hobby for myself. And if it's a way of, and it has always been about community for me, and YouTube has become less and less of a community over the years. And yet, because of my age, I'm still fascinated that I can actually put out videos that a few hundred or a few thousand people may end up watching. And I'm grateful that I'm able to do that. However, it's a very strange game. I picked up hundreds in the last month, hundreds of new subscribers. Every day my inbox was, I mean, too many to mention, and all at once. And this is after not having had a single subscription, new subscription in months. I have been doing this for several years uh, without very much success. And then all of a sudden, the Michael Trim videos that I did seem to have hit a nerve and been very popular and all of a sudden I've gotten all these new subscribers and then suddenly October 1st came along and it dropped like a stone I've still been putting the videos out uh, nobody subscribes anymore and I'm thinking why is that why can it go from being popular and spread around and then nothing and I've, I have so many questions about the way Google runs YouTube that nothing would surprise me. I, I don't care, personally, since I don't want to benefit from it uh, financially. What I get out of it is, is certainly friendship with a lot of people, even if it's cyber friendship. And I wish so much that we could all get together and, and sit out in my backyard and sit around a fire, have a few beers, and inhale some pungent smoke and enjoy ourselves together. Because I have met so many good people, uh, and so many people that think like me. And so many of us before the internet were isolated. We would know a few people that were maybe leftist and, and thought outside the box, but it was very, very difficult to connect with them. And that is the wonderful thing that the internet has brought us. Unfortunately, I see that wonderful thing as being narrowed down into just another corporate run 
entity that no longer has any sense of community. And on YouTube, it's very difficult to, to, to talk to people. And I, I apologize sincerely for people leaving comments on my channel and me not answering them. The only reason I don't answer them is because I will get the notification, see the first little part of the comment on G+, and then have to go right to that video and, and respond to the comment. And I just find this incredibly annoying because my video runs, okay, here I'll click on the, the G+, my video starts to run. I don't wanna hear the beginning of my video over and over and over again every, just because I wanna answer a comment. So it becomes more difficult to communicate with people. Now in the old days, uh, there were, uh, I don't even know if, if you can personalize messages anymore. I, I just don't see the communication aspect of it or the community aspect of it that I used to. Social media is obviously uh, no longer the Wild West and is being controlled and censored and much more. Uh, much like broadcasting, it ends up controlled Broadcasting initially could have been done by anybody with a small investment or radio station. And of course, you cannot be an elitist and want free media available to anybody who can put out something interesting and has something hopefully to say. Anyway, I'd like to say a very special thank you to some uh, People I've been following for a long time that I have a great deal of respect for that have sent me many interesting posts and I appreciate them. And so I'd like to every video at least name off a few of the people. I, I can't possibly name off everybody in a video because it would be nothing but a shout out video half an hour long. It'd be boring as hell and you probably wouldn't want to watch it. But I would like to say a very special hello to Swami Amela. Oh, uh, Swami, I followed initially from the uh, Bernie for President community on G+, which has since evolved into the Burners for Jill Stein. And I have met so many good people through that one community. Some of the other communities too, but there's a lot of crossover. Uh, Giovanna Etz, thank you for all the plus ones and thank you for the Paul Great Posts. Rusty Fishplate. You old communist there in England. How you doing, buddy? Uh, you just su subbed me. I thought you were already subbed to me for like years because you watched my videos, but who knows? Maybe, maybe YouTube's unsubbing people or, you know, maybe I wasn't like, I don't know. It's weird. A lot of people say that they have to, to sub me several times because my sub gets dropped for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. And of course, my friend Hambone thinks I'm a complete conspiracy theorist for suggesting that YouTube possibly manipulates the view counts of videos. Uh, given the, the wonderful cynicism that Hambone has about the world, I'm surprised he is that naive about an enormous entity like Google. So I'd like to offer a sense of hope, a sense of friendship and humanity in these dark, dark times that we find ourselves living through. We're terrified that war is going to break out. I mean, the idea that Hillary Clinton would float the idea of a no-fly zone in Syria is mind-bogglingly stupid, mind-bogglingly irresponsible, mind-bogglingly insane. Why have we been provoking Putin and the Russians for so long? It's just one thing after another. If Vladimir Putin had missiles on Cuba pointed at us. Well, we know what would happen. We know what, what, what happened, the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1963. 
And yet here America is subjecting Russia to the very same type of threats. Afghanistan didn't work out for either superpower. Afghanistan has been the graveyard of empires for years. Throughout history, it's the place where empire goes to die. The old Soviet empire went there to die. The American empire has gone there to die. We learn nothing. We have all these people that study history and politics, social sciences, economics, and yet none of it matters. All the collective knowledge, all the collective knowledge of humanity is worthless without the wisdom, or at least attempt at having enough wisdom to use it. Anyway, enough of my ranting for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate it beyond belief. It gives me a sense of validation. It gives me a sense of purpose. I love connecting with people. I love getting your comments. Uh, that is why I do this channel. And thank you so much. So sisters and brothers, stay strong. Know that we're going to have to live through some really rough years in the next few years. And let's build a community to begin the horrendously huge task of changing the world, of making the world habitable again. The earth can heal itself if we can give it a chance to. But if we keep extracting the lifeblood if we keep poisoning everything, it won't have a chance to heal. It'll be beyond redemption at some point. So let's not give up. Let's not get into some kind of nihilistic, depressive state collectively. Because if we allow ourselves to become depressed about the horrendous state of the world, then you become completely ineffective at changing that world. And all of us have a role to play, the smallest human to the most intelligent, learned people. We all have a part to play. We've got to begin the process of digging ourselves out from the corporate coup that has enslaved our entire nation states. Thank you. And please be careful out there, everyone. Anybody down in Florida, take cover. Leave. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being there, and thanks for being my friends. And I'll see you again soon. Because I ain't stopping. If I had two views per video, I wouldn't stop. See you later.